When you think of Switzerland, you're probably thinking about Swiss watches, cheese, and chocolate. While these are a few things that have made the country popular, Switzerland has more to it than you might know. Are you looking for a break from the humdrum? This landlocked nation could be a sanctuary for anyone seeking some breathtakingly beautiful and dramatic landscapes. Although tourists come here for the breathtaking scenery, they are enchanted by the abundance of cultural attractions. Keep watching to find out the top 10 places to visit in Switzerland. But before we continue, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. Now, let's dive in. Number 10. Swiss Grand Canyon You'll find that the Ruinalta, nicknamed Swiss Grand Canyon, is a deep valley encircled by vast meadows and cliffs covered with forest. If you're a nature lover, this is definitely one spot you should visit. And just how did the Ruinalta come to be? It was formed more than 10,000 years ago in eastern Switzerland as a result of the retreat of the Ice Age Rhine Glacier and ended with a rock slide in the Rhine Valley. The gorge was full of water as the Rhine River crept through the limestone walls. The Swiss Grand Canyon is now not only one of Switzerland's most stunning locations, but also a popular hiking, bird-watching, and nature-loving spot. Between May and October, you can raft the area's rapids, or you can rent a canoe or kayak for a more leisurely trip that offers breathtaking views of the surrounding steep cliffs. Number 9. Oberhofen Castle We have something for the history lovers as this castle conjures romantic scenes often seen in movies such as Merlin or Downtown Abbey. Oberhofen Castle is a magical fusion of several architectural styles including Bernice Baroque structures, romantic facades, and exotic new areas with Prussian influences. Because the castle kept changing hands numerous times over the centuries, the new owners continually added modern touches such as a library and a smoking room, so it's not entirely an accurate representation. A living museum depicting the lives and times of the feudal communities that once resided in the castle and its surroundings from the 16th to the 19th century is also open to public viewing. There, you can learn all about the mysteries of the lives the castle once housed. If you love traveling by sea, the castle is so close to the Lake Toon pleasure boat landing jetty, making arriving by ship a highly possible option. Also, buses that connect the train stations in Thun and Interlaken often make stops in Oberhofen just in case you're prone to sea sickness. Number 8. The Albula or Bernina Railway Line the Albula Bernina line on the Ration Railways offers a magnificent ride that honestly shouldn't be missed. It is one of the very few railroad routes in the world listed as a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site, so we encourage you to hop right on the opportunity. The route spans 122 kilometers and winds over nearly 200 bridges, the Grand Bunden Alps, several tunnels, and viaducts along the way through the Albula and Bernina environments. It is quite a sight to behold. The views are just as breathtaking in the summer as they are in the winter, and the train runs all year round 130 kilometers with a single train. If you're traveling north to south, try sitting on the right side of the train. And if you're traveling from south to the north, sit on the left side. You won't regret it. Number 7. Swiss National Park Parks are such a refreshing experience, especially if you love the sight of fast-flowing rivers and hollows covered with flowers. The Swiss National Park is located close to the Italian border, and it is quite outstanding. When the forested mountains are blanketed in a layer of snow in the winter, the scenery is exceptionally dramatic. And the views from the cross-country ski path are absolutely breathtaking. Any animal lovers in the house? This park is home to more than 5,000 different species of wildlife, including marmot, red deer, chamois, ibex, fox, and more than 100 different types of birds. Cue the bird watching. Riding the train from Zurich to Zernes, which takes about 2.5 hours one way, is the simplest and quickest way to go to the Swiss National Park. The postal bus service is another option as well. Number 6. Zurich Yes, we know Zurich might be a bit of a cliché as it's the typical tourist spot, but it has a lot to offer. 
so it owns a spot on this list. Beyond its formal exterior, this wealthy banking center is home to an extensive collection of cultural artifacts. The cobblestoned alleyways of the old town, with its charming stores, cafes, and galleries, are a perfect site to start a walking tour. You'll also find multiple boutiques where you can have fancy shopping sprees. However, in addition to the typical tourist sites, you can locate more than 50 museums and 100 art galleries by leaving the boutiques. Numerous museums, an old town full of well-preserved structures from the Renaissance and the Middle Ages, and enough artwork both inside and outside of museums to satisfy art aficionados for a week are just a few of the city's many attractions and things to do. The city makes a wonderful starting point for exploring a variety of other fascinating locations in Switzerland and the neighboring German Black Forest region. Number 5. Lake Lugano and Ticino Lake Lugano, which is located in Ticino, is Switzerland's sole official canton that speaks Italian. Here, you will find a delicious taste of the Mediterranean. Even while snow-capped beaks beckon in the distance, the warm environment in this area still supports the growth of citrus, figs, palms, and pomegranates, so it's the best of both worlds. The atmosphere of Italy is quite literally palpable in the architecture, piazzas, and passion for excellent food that pours over the Italian borders from the south, east, and west in the towns surrounding Lake Lugano and Lake Maggiore to the west. You can visit the lake in one of the white steamers or hire a boat to get a feel for the area. Monte San Salvatore truly provides one of the most breathtaking sights of the surrounding landscape, lake, and snow-capped summits. For those who appreciate being active while traveling, the Ticino is a fantastic destination, offering countless chances for walking, trekking, cycling, climbing, or simply going to hilltop viewpoints to take in the scenery. Number 4. Jungfreyuk, the top of Europe A train ride to Jungfreyuk, the top of Europe, with an observation deck and scientific observatory positioned at 3,454 meters, is an activity you dare not miss in Switzerland. It is such an adventure! The Great Eilish Glacier, which starts in Jungfreyuk and is the longest in Europe, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, so you know it's a sight to behold. A fantastic starting point for mountain excursions is the glacier village of Grindelwald. One of the oldest and most well-known resorts in Switzerland, it is nestled just at the foot of snow-covered mountains. The tiara-shaped Wetterhorn and the Eiger's sheer north face, one of the world's most spectacular and challenging climbs, practically tower over this alpine valley. Why is it called the top of Europe? This is because Jungfreyuk at 3,454 meters is Europe's highest train station. Even if you have a fear of heights, the general consensus is that it's worth the experience. Number 3. Interlaken Interlaken is another one of Switzerland's most well-liked summer vacation destinations, and it's tucked quite comfortably between Lake Thun to the west and Lake Prienz to the east. Huemate, a 35-acre open space in the middle of the city, is a miracle of urban design. It's filled with breathtaking mountain views, flower gardens, hotels, and cafes. The main activities include hiking, climbing, abseiling, and kayaking. If you're looking for an adrenaline rush, head to Interlaken. Adrenaline junkies are likely to enjoy it because it is recognized as Switzerland's adventure capital. Whether you enjoy skydiving or bungee jumping, river rafting or canyoning, you'll find your specific adrenaline here. In addition to providing access to the surrounding area, more than 45 mountain railroads, cable cars, chair lifts, and ski lifts also provide several opportunities for aerial observation. Imagine absorbing all that beauty from above. Number 2. Lake Geneva Another lake? Yes! You'll understand why in a moment. Sharing a border with France, the coasts of some of Switzerland's most well-known cities are lapped by the waters of Lake Geneva, the biggest alpine lake in Europe. The European headquarters of the United Nations is located in this French-speaking city of peace, which emits a charming fusion of French joie de vivre and Swiss architecture. So, what does this lake have to offer to travelers? 
The lake is surrounded by promenades, parks and gardens, and the old town is a great place to meander along the historical structures. A well-known site is the Jet Dome, a fountain in Lake Geneva that shoots water as high as 150 meters into the air. The Grand Theater, which hosts performance, and the Opera House are interesting cultural landmarks. You should visit the charming cafes, boutiques, and majestic Gothic cathedral in this ancient old town. The renowned Montreux Jazz Festival is held in June and July in Montreux, which is located on Lake Geneva at the base of the Alps and is worth your while if you're available during the summer. People compare Lake Geneva to Traverse City, but without the cherries because Lake Geneva is far less expensive. There are wonderful stores, delicious cuisines, and a ton of activities. It truly has everything, whether you want to go boating, jet ski, zipline, parasail, or just relax. Number 1. The Matterhorn The Matterhorn, just as you'd expect, has quite a distinct feature. It is one of the tallest mountains in the Alps and it's regarded as the pointed peak of Switzerland. This hill, which stands at 4,478 meters near the Italian border, has four steep slopes that face the cardinal directions. The first summit attempt in 1865 was sadly cut short when four climbers died while descending. Today, tens of thousands of knowledgeable climbers visit here every summer, and you could be one of them. At the base, you'll find the small community of Zermatt, a major international resort with horse-drawn carriage rides, attractive chalets, and top-notch restaurants and hotels. The catch is that motorized vehicles are not allowed in the hamlet to preserve the atmosphere of serenity and good air quality, so you'd have to find other alternatives. Filled with adventure, skiers have access to more than 300 kilometers of slopes of this mountain during the winter. Tennis, swimming and mountain climbing in the nearby mountains are all popular summertime activities. Summer adventurers aren't left out when it comes to skiing. There is also summer glacier skiing accessible. In Zermatt, there are many hotels, upscale eateries, and opulent spas, but regardless of the season, the mountains remain the main draw for tourists. Which of these top places in Switzerland would you like to visit first? Comment below!